Hello and welcome to this week's edition of CTN Community Update. Get ready for a big traffic disruption next week. Hanson Boulevard will close in both directions near the railroad tracks starting Wednesday, October 17th. CTN's Jennifer Anderson joins us now with all the details. Jennifer. Steve, drivers who rely on Hanson just north of Coon Rapids Boulevard are probably pretty used to the construction here by now. But starting next week, they'll have to find an alternative. Well, public safety was the overall goal, and, and we're going to achieve that by grades separating the railroad track from Hanson Boulevard. Anoka County Commissioner Scott Schulte says lifting Hanson up over the railroad tracks just north of Coon Rapids Boulevard will eliminate a major traffic tangle. No more lines of cars waiting for trains to pass. And most important, trains will no longer slow down emergency vehicles. That split second when you're having a heart attack, when, when you need those uh, first responders there, that's what we're hoping to achieve. For the next phase of the $25 million project, Hansen will close completely in both directions for five days. Drivers will need to detour on Northdale, Crooked Lake, and Coon Rapids Boulevards. The closure runs Wednesday to Sunday of the MEA long weekend to take advantage of lighter traffic while school is out. The actual complete closure, the absolute no-go, can't get through here, will be at 108th Lane. There they will be digging a very deep hole where we'll have a 23-foot deep sanitary sewer, water main, and stormwater system that needs to be replaced. We're all looking forward to getting back on the correct side of the median for each lane of traffic, and, and that will happen soon. Monday, October 22nd, two lanes of traffic in both directions should be back open and construction should stay at bay for most of the winter. Now, a total shutdown is still ahead for spring and summer and will last several months. But Steve, by this time next year, all construction should be wrapped up. All right, and we should mention people living in the area will still have access to their homes. Thanks, Jennifer.